Okay, so moving right along to gravity and motion. Uh, one thing that we are going to talk about and focus a lot about uh, when we are talking about gravity is the effect that it has on uh, our solar system and of course the formation of the planets and the way uh, that we know them to be now. But we need to start with talking about it on a smaller scale. And so what really is gravity? It is just all objects attraction towards each other. What Newton and his law of universal gravitation tells us is that all objects with mass do attract each other. Uh, now, that's not to say that pencils and binders and other people are going to come, you know, flying towards us. Uh, but what that means is that all objects with mass do have that attraction. Now, it depends on a couple of things. One of those things is the mass of the objects, and the second is the distances between the objects. Now, keep in mind that we are here on Earth, and because Earth has a such, such a large mass uh, compared to our masses, um, that that is the mass that takes over. That, we, uh, that when we think about gravity, we think about that falling towards Earth. Okay, so the strength of gravity depends on the mass of the objects. Let's not forget, of course, what mass is, which is just the amount of matter in an object. That is different from weight. Um, mass, what you're made up of. Uh, weight is that measure of the force of gravity on an object. So, of course, where our mass will stay the same no matter where we are, our weight would change if we went somewhere where there was less gravity, like the moon. Now, that second factor that we have to take into consideration is distance. Um, the force of gravity will actually get smaller as the distance between objects increases. And so that actually makes a lot of sense. Things that are further away from each other have less of an attraction on each other. Okay, so why don't objects fly off into space? There are a couple of forces keeping objects in orbit. One of those is inertia, which is just Newton's first law of motion, the tendency of an object to resist change in motion. So the more mass, the more inertia. And again, uh, Newton's first law just tells us objects at rest are going to stay at rest. Objects in motion are going to continue on in that motion unless something else acts on them. So in theory, if there wasn't that gravity, if there wasn't that pull of gravity of objects, um, then that forward motion would take over and the planets would just fly off. Um, think about if you're, you know, spinning something around your head and you let go of it, it's going to fly off in a direct path. Same thing would happen. But because there is that pull of gravity between uh, the, ob the two objects, the two very large masses, they stay in orbit. Okay, now how did this gravity help this us form, or not us, but help the solar system form? Well, let's think about this for a second. If a gravity is just the force of attraction between objects with mass, as those objects were coming together, um, they gradually built up. That process is actually called accretion. So just smaller pieces coming together and gradually uh, building into larger ones. So what scientists believe initially happened was that the solar system uh, it was just a cloud of dust and gas and rocks and ice and you know other materials. But again, because of that gravity caused those objects to attract each other slowly or over time, uh, the the, the pieces came together, again, in that process of accretion, and we, it formed this spinning disk. Now, as that pressure inside the disk increased, and those, uh, uh, those materials became very tightly packed, of course, it got hotter and the pressure increased. And then, like what happens in our sun with nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion started fusing those hydrogen atoms into helium atoms. And then that star started forming, and it was started to give off heat and light. Now, some of that material in the disk 
stayed sort of on the outside. And that is what became the planets and the asteroids and the meteors and everything else that we know about in uh, our solar system. So again, why uh, don't solar systems just fly right off into space? Because that star at the center has is so large and exerts such a gravitational force on all the other objects that it keeps those objects from flying off away from the star. Okie dokie, that ends this wonderful little, little lesson on gravity and the formation of the solar system. Hope you learned something new.